Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. And today's pick a card is messages from our future selves. So what do we need to know? Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right, so pile one, it's going to be your future self is going to be coming to you from September if you choose this pile. Pile two, it'll be from July. Pile three from December. And pile four for May. So pick the month or the pile um, that you're most drawn to. And we'll see what your higher self wants to tell you um, from that time, time period. All right, pile ones, if you chose September, and, uh, you know, next fall, let's see what comes out for you here. We have the High Priestess, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Strength Card, Queen of Swords. All right. So I don't want to scare you. I don't want to scare anybody. Um, but it, it, there's some sadness. There's some grief here. Five of Cups, that's the center of your read. So come September, there's something you're going to either be mourning or I think you're going to be mourning the loss of something. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a person who, who, who crosses over. All right, because I know a lot of people are going to jump to that and say, you know, why are you scaring us? Why are you... No, it doesn't have to be that, but I want you to know that it could be. Well, you could be losing somebody, and when you do, I don't want you to look at it as a bad thing and look at it as a good thing. You're, they're returning to who their natural state, who, who they are naturally. I mean, we're not, we're spirits having a human experience. We're not humans with a spiritual um, existence, you know? So I don't want you to be sad if you are going to lose someone. But it, look, if you're going to lose someone, you probably already know it. Like it's somebody who's really sick or somebody who's really old, somebody who's you're prepared for it. I don't feel like this is going to be like a sudden shock or anything like that. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to lose someone um, as for, for, from death, right, from crossing over. But there is some grief here. So we could be losing someone in a different way. It could be a breakup. It could be a loss of a friend, right? Maybe we get in a fight with a friend or something. But there's definitely some sadness here. Sadness that you're going to be okay from. Like you're going to overcome it. it this isn't going to make you go spiraling into a deep depression or anything like that. Because spirit's here with you. Look at the high priestess. So that's telling you that your angels are going to be around you at this time, supporting you and loving you. And even though you're not satisfied with life at this time, you have the strength and the courage to overcome this. Not only do you have the strength and the courage, but you're going to have the mental clarity and the knowledge to move on from this. So whatever it is, I don't want you to you know, anticipate doom and gloom because I don't, I don't feel like that's what this is. All right. So, um, you're going to be fine. Like you're going to be okay. Like everything happens for a reason. So if uh, September comes and, uh, we're mourning some kind of a loss, I mean, you can, you know, it could be anything. I mean, it could even be a loss of a pet or, a situation even like you could be losing your job um but again this is all negative stuff and i don't want you to focus on the negative stuff because i really i'm not feeling i'm feeling like like whatever's happened happens or is going to happen is like the natural course of things like it's meant to happen it's not something that's going to be so detrimental to you that you're going to spiral into a depression or something you're not it's something that's meant to uh, 
to end. All right. So I don't like giving news like this. I, you know, but at the same time, sometimes it's better to be prepared than it is to be blindsided. That's the way I look at it. Like I rather, if something not so great is going to happen, I rather kind of have a little bit of a heads up on it so that I'm not, you know, I'm mentally prepared for it. And again, I'm making it out to seem like it's all doom and gloom, and it's not. It really isn't. It could just be like a loss of a situation, and, and that makes you unhappy. So whatever that situation is, like maybe you have to move, right? Um, you know, and that's not going to make you happy. So you're going to mourn the loss of the home that you were in. So it could be, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be one specific thing. All right. So please don't get so upset. It's not that bad. All right. Now, if I, you know, if I always read all, only the good stuff and I was always, you know, be love and light, no matter what's going on in your life, then you, you would know that I'm not real. You know, I'm, I'm, I got to tell you what, what comes out and I got to tell you what my intuition is telling me. I just have to share that with you. So again, not as bad as I may be making it out to be a change for the better. So like I said, everything always happens for a reason, correct? Well, this change or whatever you're mourning the loss of is going to bring about a change for the better. It's for your highest good. So that should give you a little bit of uh, relief and make you feel a little bit better here. Doing something risky, taking a chance. Well, this kind of makes me feel like, all right, so something not so great is happening, right? And we've got to move on from it. So now we're, we've got this energy of like, why not? Let's do it. Let's take a risk. Let's take a leap of faith. Why not? What do we got to lose? We've already lost something and that didn't feel great. So, you know, it can't make me feel any worse. So let's do something risky. Let's take a risk. Let's, let's take a leap. So I think that's what you're going to do. And I think it's going to end up being very beneficial for you. Friends and colleagues. So, yeah, I think that, you know, people are going to be gathering around you at this time, right, to uplift you and to let you know that you're not alone in this world and that whatever you're going through is um, something that, you know, you're not the only one who goes through it. Other people have too, and they understand how you feel and what's going on, and they're surrounding you and uplifting you. That's beautiful. Your community is going to come together. taking shelter the answers are within all right so this is like going into hermit mode maybe looking for answers how do you overcome this grief how do you overcome this loss what do you do um i think you're going to figure it out because you're becoming the queen of swords so it's like you're going to kind of take control understand what you need to do your, your wisdom and knowledge is going to be there. Have courage to ask for help and accept their help. So asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting that help. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answers answered through other people. Here's your community, right? So... Maybe, you know, say, let's just say, for instance, this is a loss of a job. Okay, you lost your job and your company went out of business or whatever. And you're like, oh, no, what am I going to do? I'm, I need to find a new job. Right. So ask your friends. Your friends are going to gather and they're going to say, oh, my company's hiring or I passed a sign and so and so is hiring. Maybe you should check them out. Ask for that help. Your friends are going to be there for you and sometimes like this says God brings people certain people into your life for help they answer he answers your prayers like that 
So accept the help that's being offered if and when it, it does, okay? And if you're ever called to help others, please pay it forward. We gotta stick together in this life, you know? We've gotta be willing to help each other out. Dolphin, don't worry, be happy. So in other words, yeah, this might be a temporary setback, but you're going to be okay. Don't worry. It's all going to work out. You you can be happy. It's okay to be happy. This is going to bring a change for the better. You got butterfly again. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. So, again, this is leading me to believe that whatever this change is, it's going to transform you into something beautiful or transform the situation into something beautiful. So let's take, for instance, you lost your job. And yeah, that's going to be sad and it's going to be a little scary. How am I going to pay my bills? Blah, blah, blah. But it brings you to a thing like, you know what? I've got nothing to lose now. I might as well start that business I've always wanted to start. I'm not working. I have free time on my hands. I'm, I might as well take a leap of faith and give it a shot. This way, I'm not, not always thinking, what if? Now I'll have a chance to know. This could be the situation. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. <sighs> Slow down. So I, what I'm getting from this is stop the chaotic thinking. Stop overthinking things. Stop getting crazy with your thoughts. Slow down. Take your time. Right? Go within. Breathe. Take a hint from a sloth. You, there's no need to rush. All right? Time is a human concept, not a spiritual concept. So they're saying it's okay to just take your time, figure things out, figure out what will make you happy and what your next steps are. All right? There's no need to rush it. Patience. So, patience. Things are about to change. All right? Don't rush things. Have the patience. Stay calm under pressure. And uh, everything's going to work out for you. It is. Te that's temperance. And temperance is about change. It's about alchemy, right? Changing some base metal into gold, right? You're there, so you're about to do that. You're about to take something plain and simple and turning turn it into something magnificent. That's what you're going to do here. So just have patience. Don't rush it. All right. So I know this wasn't the best reading um, as far as the news, right? But it's it turned out that the news is going to end up being something really good for your highest good, right? Really good for you. So just remember to breathe when you're going through something and not try not to, you know, spiral with those chaotic thoughts. Just stay calm. All right. So let me pull you a few charms. We're saying, don't worry, we are here, we are supporting you. We are loving you and supporting you, okay? You're going to make peace with whatever ha is happening, and yes, something is definitely coming to an end here. Some, there's definitely some kind of transformation, but that's okay because something beautiful always blooms from the yuck, from the muck, right? That's the lotus flower. The lotus flower is a symbol of peace of harmony and it grows out of the the swampy mucky yucky stuff the decomposing stuff at the bottom of the uh you know uh pond or whatever wherever it grows okay so something beautiful is gonna is gonna transform here is gonna take place all right it's gonna grow from the yuck be courageous be brave. Everything's going to work out. You were loved and you were supported. 
All right, Pile One, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile Two, if you chose July, this one's going to be your reading. And let's get your cards here. We have Queen of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Justice, Temperance. All right, so this is a card, I mean, this is a reading about uh, staying in balance. Okay, it's a definitely a balanced reading. So come July, we have to address the elephant in the room, which is the Three of Swords, right smack in the middle of the reading. And um, that's heartache. So come July, you're, there's something that you're going to be sad about. Right? It could be some kind of breakup, some kind of loss. Um, you know, we all go through this. We all have our heart broken from time to time. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a romantic breakup. It could be a loss of a friend or a pet or, you know, anything, right? None of it is what we want. I mean, it's not what we want to hear right now, but I got to be honest with you and tell you what comes out. So if you pick July, there's going to be something that happens between now and then that you're going to feel a little bit of heart heartbreak over it. It could be like losing a job even, you know, that what that breaks your heart because you're going to be losing all your friends that are co-workers, right? But, you know, something, something here is going to happen that we're going to have to overcome. But I, I feel like whatever this is, it's happening for a reason because your life was out of balance. It was out of alignment. So this is kind of happening, whatever it is, to kind of put you back in the right frame of mind, put you on the right track, going, um, you know, on your soul's purpose, to continue to follow your soul's purpose. So sometimes we, as humans, because we have free will, we do get off track. So I feel like this is kind of a, like a little bit of a reset for you. So I'm not really too upset over it to be honest with you. And I don't know if you're going to be that upset either once you realize what's happening, um, that it's happening for your highest good and that, you know, there's something better here for you. So, it, you know, I, I kind of feel like it's going to be some kind of a breakup because we have the Queen of Pentacles here and that's my independent woman somebody who's capable of standing on her own two feet and if it's not a breakup it kind of feels like you might be getting news of someone who you might have been holding on to who has moved on maybe somebody uh, maybe there's an ex that you had hoped that, you know, maybe someday you guys could get back together, but you just found out they're getting married. Could be something like that, which again, isn't great news, but I don't, I don't think it's terrible. And I, I do feel like this is like happening for your highest good, whatever this heartache is. So the queen of pentacles is telling me that you're more than capable of, of handling the situation and taking care of yourself. I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, you, somebody might be coming in to uh, be charitable with you, make you some kind of generous offer, or, you know, you're going to just to be um, generous with your time at this point, or your energy, however form that takes. And then, then you have Justice, which again is a balance card. So it's about, you know, don't worry, things are working out for you. You will get your justice for whatever's happening. Um, 
we're just staying in alignment. And then we have temperance. Again, it's another balance card. One foot in, one foot out. But it's also a card of alchemy. It's a card of changing something, like changing base metals into, into gold, right? Or wine into water. It's a card of a change is about to happen. We just have to have patience. We have to allow it to work. We have to wait for it to manifest. But a change is about to happen for you. So again, this heartache, you know, it might not be fun when you go through it, but it's really not a detriment. It's really happening for your highest good, setting you back on your path. Honor and respect will come to you. So if you, are, you know, are getting some kind of news that makes you sad or something like that, you know, don't worry because people are going to see you for you and they're going to honor who you are and respect who you are and you're going to get your justice. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. All right. So maybe that will, that's what breaks your heart. You, you find out somebody else is having a child. It could be that. Or you could be, you know, this could be the start of something great here where you're about to start a new situation, um, maybe a new business or a new relationship or a new, any kind of new situation that could be a birth of anything. All right. It's conception of something. And they want you to not feel less than, to not feel sad, to not feel unworthy, because this heartache can make that happen sometimes, right? When we're when we have heartache or heartbreak, we feel like we're not good enough. And this is saying you are good enough. And you are deserving of great things. So don't put yourself down. Again, what's happening is happening for a reason. And it's going to put you on the path that you need to be on. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So they know that you're heartache. They know that you're heartbroken. They see it. But... They're saying it's time to heal from that. It's time to move on. Make new connections. Right? And let go of what no longer is meant for you. Gratitude list. Count your blessings and feel gratitude for what you already have. And that helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who you are, uh, what and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. And it's true. Whenever you sit in gratitude, whenever you're grateful for the, all the things that you have in your life, you start getting more things to be grateful for. So you're going to have some blessings coming in. All right. Celebration. Let go and have fun. So in other words, let this heartache go. It's time. Let it go. Let's focus on being happy. Let's focus on celebrating life. We have a, a new beginning here of some sort coming in. Right? And we have people who, who love and respect us. So it's really time to just kind of get over it. Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. Yeah. So it's like you never know what's going to happen. So live each day as it comes and celebrate each day and just find the positive any way you can because you never know what life's going to bring you. Right? Sometimes life, life brings you things and sometimes life takes things away. It's just the way the world works. So live life 
to the fullest every moment that you possibly can. Be here now. Come on inner peace. I don't have all day. So this is you wanting to get over that heartache. You wanting to let it go. Like you saying to the universe, like enough already. I'm done with feeling sad. Bring me the joy. Right? Bring me the joy. Ace of air. Ace of swords. A new beginning. There's a new beginning for you. Something that you're going to be grateful for. Let me read what the um, Ace of Air says in the book because sometimes it has different different um, messages here. Meaningful coincidences and forces beyond my human control are o operating in my life right now, and it's for my highest good. Things are happening with great velocity. I can expect quick results that will lead me forward with excellent information so you're going to learn something new here and it's going to be very positive and it's going to give you this new beginning this new start in such a positive way so you do have something to look forward to you do have something that you're going to be grateful for so just be try to see all the positives in life right now because something good's about to happen for you and it's about to happen quickly so it looks like you're going to get over this heartache pretty fast. All right, so let me pull you a few charms. Well, you are going to have all oh, the basketball, the basketball stuff. Ah, oh, there it goes. Um, you're going to have reasons to be very happy. Look how big that happy face is. It's not the little happy face. It's big. So big smiles are going to be on your face. And then you have the basketball, which, you know, just stay in the game, stay focused. Uh, you know, you have a shot at, you know, achieving the goal here, achieving a win. Cupid could be coming in to uh, bring you a new, new relationship or a new love of some sort. They just want you to remember who you are. Wear that crown. You are deserving of it. All right, you're deserving of good things. You are not unworthy. But things will definitely blossom into something beautiful, right? But a change has to happen. It just does. But you're definitely getting some kind of a gift from the universe. And the last charm is the guitar. So I don't know if uh, music will help you get through a sad time or something like that. But you have the guitar here. So maybe you should take lessons on how to play. So anyway, that is what I have for you, Pile 2. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose December, then this one's going to be your reading. Let's see what happens. Nine of Swords. King of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. The Lovers. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, there's something you're worrying over. I'm not sure exactly what, but um, I don't know. But it, it feels like you have the truth, like you have the knowledge. There's a, either somebody was like honest with you and or you found out some information, or you kind of just know something, and it's got you a little bit worried. But like the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who is grounded. This is someone who has responsibilities and is going to live up to them. You know, somebody that has good worth ethic so that they're going to be successful. This person's reliable and 
sometimes could be a perfectionist. Um, so like it's, if we're describing you, then I just kind of feel like you have the ability to build something stable. Or it could be somebody who's coming in with the lovers, right? So I just feel like whatever it is or whomever this is, you have to see a situation through to the end, right? And don't limit yourself, dream big. Because I, I feel like something big could happen here. So I feel like you're gonna, you're, you're too worried to, to dream big, to think big. Um, but I think that you should, I really do. So I, I don't know, it kind of feels like maybe there's a new person coming in for you. And you might meet them through work. So let me get a few more cards. Let me see if I can, uh, you know, better understand this. But for the most part, there's something here that you're worried about, but you have the truth, you have clarity, and you are somebody who can build something solid here. Hopefully with, you know, a soulmate of yours. Somebody you can really work with. We'll see. Spiritual love. So it is kind of a soulmate, right? Spirits bringing you guys together. Feels like soul contracted. You need to defend yourself. Shield. I don't think you need to defend yourself from your soulmate. But there might be something else that you have to defend yourself from. I don't feel like it's like a an attack per se. But I feel like you need to not let somebody take advantage of you or something. That you need to stand your ground. You need to stick up for yourself and say, no, I deserve a raise because of I, I do this, this, and this, and I deserve it or something along those lines. I don't know if it's has to do with money or not, but for some reason I'm relating it to work. Uh, let's get some more cards. consciousness of lack. All right. So this is it. This is, it is, it has to do with work. It definitely has to do with work. So I feel like come, uh, next year, you're going to, um, be like enough's enough. I've had enough. Either you, uh, you know, give me what I want, give me a raise or promotion or something, or I need to move on because this not having enough, is not working for me. Grace and gratitude, th through gratitude, joy expands. So this is saying that you can't have a consciousness of luck. Even if you, I'm not saying don't defend yourself and ask for more money or, or, you know, go find something better. Absolutely. I want you to do that for yourself. But I don't want you to feel like you don't have enough because when we're in this con consciousness of lack, then what does that bring? More lack, more not enough. So they're telling you that even though you might feel this way and you, you're going to go after more money or after something more, just be grateful for what you do have so that when you have that gratitude mindset, you'll have something else to be grateful for, right? So don't go into um, a confrontation, maybe with a boss, with that consciousness of lack. You have to go into it with a consciousness of gratitude. Look, I appreciate that I have a job here. I appreciate this. I appreciate that. But I would appreciate more money in my paycheck, okay, instead of, I'm not making enough. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing, you know, I, I don't have this. I don't have that. I, you I, stop with the, I don't have. All right. Just say, 
you know, I'm grateful for what I do have, but I would like more. So I think it's a, it's a different mindset. And I think the, the, you know, the positive mindset will, um, you know, will do so much better for you. Will serve you well or serve you better. Organize for success. So yeah, don't, if you are going in and asking for some kind of a raise, make sure you have a plan. Make sure you have your thoughts together. You have your arguments ready, right? And again, in a positive way, always speak positive. You know, I appreciate you giving me a job. I appreciate what I do. I appreciate, you know, this about it. I appreciate that about it. But it's time that you start appreciating me more and, and you know, putting a little more money in that paycheck every week. All right. So just have a, it's okay to defend yourself, but, but be organized about it and stay positive. Don't go into it with like the blame and the, you know, like that, that yucky energy. Go into it very positive. Good fortune, invite the magic in. Again, you're going to have luck on your side. You're going to have good fortune. So if you do it in the right way and you stay positive, you're going to get what you want. Claim your independence. And if someone absolutely refuses to give you what you truly feel you deserve, it's okay to claim your independence. Right. Just by asking for what you need and what you want um, is claiming your independence. But don't be afraid to to be on your own. Inhale the good stuff. Exhale the bad stuff. Breathe like you know how. So in other words, it's just saying. Stay calm, don't get overexcited, don't get angry, just kind of stay calm, breathe, and defend yourself the way that you should defend yourself. Chariot. If you do that, you'll be successful. Chariot is success. But it's like if you have, you have to keep that chariot in balance, though, because it could very easily tip if you go too fast or you take a corner, you know, if you take a corner too fast. So stay in balance, stay steady, breathe, uh, be organized with your thoughts and, you know, make a good argument for yourself in a very positive way. And all will work out for you. So I really do feel like next December, you're going to be like, you know, we, we got to do something better here as far as work is concerned. And, uh, yeah, you're, you're going to step up. You're going to claim your independence by stepping up for yourself. Now, getting back to the lovers, you know, this really felt like the whole reading felt like a money read, right? It felt like it was all about you asking for a raise or a promotion come, come next December. Um, but we have the lovers here. So, um, I, sometimes the lovers could be a choice between two. So this could be that there might be a job offer coming in, especially with the Knight of Pentacles. Cause that's an, all, uh, the Knights are usually coming in with offers. So, there could be another offer that comes in and that's why you have to go to your current boss and say, look, if you want to keep me, this is what you have to do. And this is why and make a really good positive argument for it. And, uh, yeah, so I really do see that scenario happening, but that's almost a year away. So or yeah, it pretty much is a year away. Ah, let me pull you some charms. Don't worry, no matter what happens, 
you're going to be protected. They've got your back on this one. All right. And yeah, you need to resolve this issue because I think that's why it's a year away because you need time to like gather your evidence a little bit here. Like, you know what I mean? So when you do something good or something positive for your company, make sure you're keeping track of it. Make sure you're writing it down. So you don't forget when the time comes to make your case. But I think come December, like a change is necessary. This someone could be smitten with you. You could be meeting somebody through work. You really could, but here's your slice of the pie. Abundance is the piggy. Abundance is coming in for you. So more money, right? Transformation. The bet something's gonna change. So I'm excited for you because I think it's a good thing. And but I think it's it's something you need to do too to to teach you to value your worth. All right, that's what I have for you, Pile 3. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose May, let's see what cards come out for you. Two of Cups, the Fool, the Hangman, Six of Cups, Ace of Wands, looks like love, absolutely love. Um, you're finding love in May, you're finding love, what a beautiful time, it's the spring when things are blossoming and blooming and looks like love is in the air for you or, or something here, you got a soulmate, but with that Ace of Wands, it definitely feels like love. Uh, somebody you're going to be so excited to be with, so excited to start a new journey with. Now, it could be if you are in a, say you're in a marriage and you're happy and content. Well, it's a new beginning with your soulmate, with your person. So you might be starting a new chapter of your lives in some way. But they're telling you it's okay to take a leap of faith. It's okay to trust the universe that this is going to work out for you um you know being in the hangman mode is like you trying to see things from all perspectives what can go wrong what what you know where can we go from here or what can we do like you know what does the future look like it's just like seeing different uh sides of things and uh i don't know but i'm excited because i feel like you're gonna feel like a kid again and you're going to have like that childlike wonder over the simplest things. Like, you know, the beauty of a rose is going to catch your eyes. And you're like, you know, I've, I've seen those roses in, in my yard for as long as I've lived here. And I've never really, really noticed the beauty in them. And now all of a sudden you see the beauty in them. So it's, it's going to be like a very happy, very positive, very exciting time for you come May. I love this reading. I love it. you got something great to look forward to. I really do feel like for a lot of you, it's new love. New love that's going to blossom and bloom. So let's, uh, let's all stay focused on May love coming in, okay? Let's manifest it for all of us. Bo, you are highly thought of. So there you go. Again, it feels like there you have a soulmate coming in who's going to think the world of you. Who's just going to think you're the bomb. Pin, new job, new career. All right, you could be starting a new job. Um, this could all be about a, a new job if you're already with a soulmate or something like that. You could, you know, maybe your best friend who could be your soulmate is um, helping you find a new job and that's going to make you exciting, excited and you're going to love it. I don't know. It could be anything, but I just, I, I just love the whole energy. It just, you're going to feel like skipping. You're going to feel happy. You know, it's like a, a jump for joy type of time. <gasps> Maybe you're having a baby. Look at this family card. Maybe you're to having a baby. That would be a new exciting adventure, right? Taking the leap of faith and saying, okay, let's do this. Let's become a family. Um, or 
just something really good is happening in your family. You know, if you're finding new love, you could be, you know, just like starting a new family or bringing someone into your family. You know, it doesn't matter, but it's just all about love right now. It's all about love. And it could be a grandchild. It doesn't have to be your child or it doesn't have to be any child, but it, it could be. Well, we have distant thunder, which says clear the air. So there is going to be uh, something that we have to get off our chest, something that we have to confess or to clear up. So, um, you know, maybe there's a situation that happened in the past and that we really need to talk about and clarify and get answers and, you know, maybe set healthy boundaries in the future. But whatever that is, it's okay. It's okay to do that. And I feel like it's, it's all, you know, happy anyway. We have focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them time and attention that they deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So, you know, this is saying that, you know, just because love is coming in, we can't forget about the stuff that we need to do, right? We still have to go to work or we still have to uh, you know, cook dinner every night or whatever. I, it's just saying don't, don't slack off in other areas of your life. Like, let's make sure we're focusing on our priorities. All right. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty excited though, because you're going to, you're going to be so excited that you can lose focus on your priorities, right? So that's okay. Like, I don't know. Sometimes it's okay to just be happy. New beginnings. Begin your life. You got a new beginning here. It's a new chapter in your life. It's going to feel fresh and new and exciting and full of love and happiness. And things are expanding and growing and birthing. I love this vulture spirit nothing is wasted yeah I don't you're not gonna waste a moment of your time not being happy you're gonna use everything you got to you're just gonna make things work for yourself you really are mm. I love that all right, we got seriously, and then we have a wise woman once said, F this stuff, and she lived happily ever after. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> seriously. Um, you know, forget about all the bad stuff. Forget about it. Let it all go. All the negative. Just let it go and live happily ever after in peace in your own happiness, you know, don't worry about all the negative in your life. Sometimes you just kind of have to let it go. As long as you keep your priorities in, in order. <laughs> Not too much of letting go, right? We gotta, we gotta kind of uh, be a little bit responsible. But th such a happy time coming in for you. Such a happy time. I couldn't be more excited for you. The last card is Four of Air, which is Four Swords, which normally for me is like a timeout, right? Um, but let's, let's see what the book says, because sometimes the messages here are a little different. It's time to rest my mind and allow peace to take the place of busyness or boredom. The mind needs quiet to think and to find clarity. If I allow my mind to rest, I will have greater clarity and my mind will be sharper. 
this is the time for a break. I need to take care of myself. So instead of, you know, worrying about everybody else's priorities, we got to worry about ourselves and our own priorities. Take care of you right now. Um, there's a lot of excitement here. So I think they just want you to be happy. You know, if like something else is going on in your life, um, I don't know, like, let me just put an example and I hope this is nobody's story, but I'm just going to put it out there because it came to my head. Like say some, a family member sick, right? And that's a tough time, right? That's a, that's a tough time when somebody's sick. Um, but that technically is their journey. It's not yours. Even though you're sad for them and you want to help them and you want to be there for them and you want them to get better and you want to do what you can for them. It's really their journey. It's really not yours. Your journey is this happiness that's coming in for you. I don't want you to feel guilty for being happy. I don't want you to feel guilty for starting a new adventure, right? Because this is your journey too. You know, it's your journey. You you take your journey and let your other people worry about theirs. Now, I'm not saying you can't still be there for people and help people and be generous with people. That's that's what God wants us to do, right? They want us to be good people and to come together and help when we can. But you can't take on other people's burdens. You just, you're not supposed to. So be happy. Be happy regardless of what's going on around you. Let me put you, pull you some charms. All right, we have make a wish because it's going to come true. Look at that. I think money's going to be okay. Luck is on your side here. You got some magic coming in for you. This does feel magical. Oh, and here's your frog. Here's your leaping for joy. You are going to be leaping for joy. They want you to explore this new uh, uh, thing coming in for you. I, it feels like a relationship, but they want you to really, really explore it. You have the fan here, so things might be getting hot and, and exciting and passionate and woohoo. <laughs> um, and then, you know, you have some security here with the teddy bear, but all good things, all good things happening for you in May. So enjoy it, enjoy it, and make it last for as long as you can. All right, Pile 4, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light.